it out of me today. Just kidding, I love to share. Something to keep in mind is that your teacher will probably ask you about themes, motifs, or symbols in the catcher in the rice. So let's jump right in. So what's the theme anyway? Well, they are the foundational ways of looking at topics and ideas in fiction. For example, throughout catcher we see the theme of isolation pop up again and again. Holden often feels threatened by his interactions with others, both male and female. He's overly critical of himself and others, but 
it's really one of Holden's best tools for living. Why? Well, he is rude and confrontational because he wants to self-preserve. Basically, because he can't seem to manage intimate relationships. This tool of isolation to keep himself safe makes his reality feel stable until, of course, it collapses around him like a house of cards. Kind of like an addict, Holden knows his isolation is destroying him, but he keeps going back again and again despite the damage being done. Another theme that proudly parades throughout the Catch and the Rye is Holden's favorite phrase, phoniness. Holden has all of these experiences, one after the other, that add to his pal of how everyone is a phony. He doesn't understand the adult world and how everyone can be filled with so much shallowness and hypocrisy. He's developed a sense of cynicism because he's overcompensating for something. Truth is, Holden doesn't have a clue about honesty or sincerity, and that's the component of his character that freaks him out. You see, Holden sees himself in adults, and he loathes it. This theme of Holden calling people out time and time again reflects his own false sense of identity. For these two themes, you might consider thinking about how his isolation, self-preservation methods, and criticism of others make him feel safe from others, at least for a little while. Lastly, let's talk about a symbol in the story. Holden's red hunting hat represents a larger, more abstract concept than just a silly red hat. Holden wants to be different, so he wears this red hat to call attention to the fact that he is different. Kind of like Richard Simmons in those tight little shorts. Yeah, can't help but stare. Hmm? Although, unlike Richard, Holden's not so confident. Holden admits that he doesn't like wearing the hat when he's around people he knows. He's self-conscious and wants people to like him. So, yeah, the red hat represents way more than just the awkward red hat. It's a symbol of Holden's indifference and individuality while trying to fit in. When we see the hat make a debut in Catcher, it's clear that it represents the fundamental dueling desires. I mean, the guy just wants to be left alone, but he is also crying out for companionship. Kind of like a woman. <laughs> anyway, now that you've got lots of ideas here to play with, go on, have some fun. You know, think about it. And make sure you come back to see me again for more Jessica or Charlie notes.